Okay, so I'm, uh, I got the low oil pressure 6.0 deal going on. I did the PC, I'm sorry. I did the oil pressure sending unit and I went to remove the screen. There was no screen in there. I tried to put the screen that came with the new oil pressure sending unit down in it and it does not fit correctly. Don't know what the issue is there. Either way, I had warrantied out two oil pressure sending units just to make sure. And uh, my issue is that I'm getting around 20 PSI when I start the vehicle. If I drive on it, I'm getting up to maybe 40 PSI, sometimes a little bit above it when it's cold. As it warms up, it, it'll drop at idle to about 12 to 15 PSI. And when I get on it, it might make it up to 35 PSI. After it's totally hot, I don't make it much over 22 PSI. So I am removing the oil pan. By doing that, removing the bottom of this torque converter housing. Got my series of bolts. I've got my oil training oil lines and my oil lines on this side. All my wiring harness up out of the way. I'm in the middle of undoing the mounts here so I can lower the rear differential enough to clear the oil pan because I want to change that pan gasket. I'm also going to change the pickup tube, which is probably full of sludge. And I didn't start having these problems until I changed the oil and I went full synthetic and they gave me a smaller filter. This was the filter that was on the truck when I got it. One of that Fram Junk Tough Guards. This is what I put on there and I didn't like it. I, I started having issues so I'm going to see. I bought me a Wix filter now that's a little deeper. That's what's going to go on there when I put this back together. But I also bought me a brand new Melon standard volume oil pump. You don't want to make the mistake and get high volume oil pump. Pump all your oil up to the top of the head and start breathing it in through the intake because there's no actual PCV valve system on these. And then at the same time, I'm gonna rip out. Oh, my ghetto lights. I am gonna go up top and uh, start yanking everything off to expose the oil pump, which is underneath this timing cover after I get the oil pan down. Now I've taken the cross member across from here to here out. I've taken my splash shield out that went over here that I had snuck in behind my plow bracket. And uh, I mean, you guys know what those look like. They look like that and this. And to do this job, we're gonna get us synthetic blend oil, five quarts of 530. I'm going to get us a new deeper Wix filter, part number 51522, because you won't find it unless you look for that. Different car, different car, different car. This right here will be my timing cover set equipped with water pump. A few other O-rings I'm unsure of. That one looks like the one that will go onto your oil pickup tube. Right there, brand new oil pan gasket. Pan gasket part number for you. And then the timing cover gasket part number for you. And then this right here will be my new pick up two and oil pump itself set this out of the way for the moment 
Give me a brand new melon. Oil pump. Sits behind that timing cover. Oh, they wrote you a love letter. Can't wait to see what that is. Is uh, my buddy, not my buddy, but a guy I like to watch that rips apart lawnmowers, Terrell. So there we go. And that's what your pickup tube slides into with the big red O-ring. It's a, a sealed unit pump. And this does go around your crankshaft. Check it out. This is my fat sausage finger. Yeah! yeah. Oh my god. I haven't seen USA stamped on anything in so long. <laughs> and uh, I'll get back to you when I start ripping some of this down. Now I'm new at the YouTube thing, so I don't really have, you know, like a tripod set up and something that can record hours and hours of crap and then we go through it. So I usually do everything I'm doing one time. I'll post it. I hope that you guys like it. Please uh, subscribe. Or whatever they call it and, and uh, I want to see how many views I can hit on this thing because I want to see honestly if you have to pay them in order to get going or if this can really take off so uh, let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comments and all that and I'll try to answer everything thanks